The wait is finally over. Welcome back to another episode of the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns, where we check out some of the wildest speedruns that have actually been submitted on speedrun.com. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. Insane. Subscribe to join the club as one of the original 100k, and like the video if you enjoy. Can we get a thousand likes on this video? Let's see. Anyways, let's get right into the speedruns. The first fake speedrun in over a month <laughs> comes in from somebody named Xtor. We don't see Xtor create his world, the video just starts right as he's loading in, and wouldn't you guess it, he spawns right next to a village. What are the odds? <laughs> uh, is it really a fake speedrun without a spawn village? I can't even remember the last time we've looked at a speedrun without one. Anyways, Xtor spends the first 15 precious seconds of his speedrun running through the village. He doesn't even look at the villager huts for chests, but right as he gets to the end of the village, he spazzes out and a chest appears right in front of him. Or was that there the whole time? I don't really know. He opens the totally random chest, and there's a bunch of netherite loot. He gets a fully enchanted set of netherite armor, a bow, with just a single arrow? Uh, okay. Uh, that's <laughs> not really helpful. And an enchanted netherite sword. He equips all his loot. What's he gonna do now? He looks into the ravine right in front of him and finds a fully <laughs> lit end portal sitting right at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely legit, right? There's not even a stronghold by it or even some stone brick, uh, just to sell that it might possibly be real. Well, without thinking twice, Xtor jumps right into the portal and is in the end, and there's already a staircase mined out for him to run right up. He keeps his head down as he runs past Enderman and finally gets to the center of the map. He looks up and the dragon is nowhere to be found. Wow, what a coincidence. The staircase is already mined out for him, the dragon is defeated, the portal is already lit. That's some pretty insane luck right there. Xtor should definitely think about buying some lottery tickets after that one. Anyways, <laughs> I guess that's it for that one. On to the next speedrun. Our next speedrun of the day comes in from DG Flame. The video starts as he's loading into the world, and he, uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> I guess he forgot to switch back to survival mode before quitting the last time he was in this world. 100% natural, definitely not tampered with, um, yeah. It's a, it's, it's no big deal. He'll just change his game mode real quick. No one will remember any of this once they see the rest of the speedrun, right? It's at the beginning anyways. Well, he does that, and now the run can actually start. He spawns right next to a nether portal and a spawn chest. Wow, that's some insane luck right there. <laughs> definitely not anything to do with being in creative mode a couple seconds ago. Mm-mm, definitely not, nope. He opens the chest and gets a full set of netherite armor. One tiny bed, a fire charge, a few blocks of obsidian, and a netherite sword. <laughs> Incredible, what a stacked loadout he just got right off the bat. <laughs> he can even light the nether portal now. He fills in the missing obsidian and lights the portal. He hops in and completes the quickest nether run I have ever seen. He finds a chest right next to the portal, grabs the 19 ender eyes inside it, and immediately jumps right back into the portal. <laughs> He spawns back into the overworld and has some, uh, issues. <laughs> you can see his game mode changes to survival mode, uh, but wait, I, I thought he was already in survival mode. The void consumes him as the world waits to load some more and he's in the portal room. <laughs> okay, how did that happen? <laughs> well, he runs to the portal, which has no eyes in it. Whoa, what kind of fake speedrun is this? You're telling me the end portal wasn't already completely filled in? It almost makes you wonder, is this actually a real speedrun? Anyways, he fills the portal with the eyes and... I, uh, I, I have no idea what's going on now. <laughs> he just starts zooming and typing like a pro hacker attempting to steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's try to slow this down. Okay, so it looks like he's giving himself a bow and enchanting it, and then the video just cuts to him being in the end with, without even jumping into the portal first. 
And he's in creative mode now. <laughs> I really think he just gave up on the whole, no, I'm just really lucky vibe. Uh, yeah, DG, I, I think this one's over. Let's, let's wrap this up. I got some dino nuggies in the oven I got to attend to. As one naturally does in totally legit speedruns like this, DG begins flying and melts some endstone with his fist. <laughs> he breaks out to the surface and he shoots an arrow which teleports him across right to the perch. He starts blowing up beds, then turns on his speed hacks and wall hacks and beep boops his way through the rest. <laughs> uh, this is not sped up footage, this is actually how it was submitted. <laughs> He finally gets the dragon to perch and spams it with beds until it goes to sleep. Forever. He switches his game mode back to survival. I mean, uh, it's, uh, always been in survival. And he jumps into the portal, beating the game. And that's it. One totally legit speedrun, just like you ordered. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like I just said, that's all the time we have for today. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed and like the video. I'll see you in the next one.